Okay, so I've made a very impulsive decision. So I've just come in from Manchester, and when I went into Tesco, the referees for what happens to be a Carlisle match were just there in the calf, and they're all like refereed up, and it was really confusing. And then I looked on my phone, saw that it was a Carlisle match, but it's not any ordinary Carlisle match. It's the Cumbria Derby. So unlike Gillingham, Carlisle has another team from in the same county, that's in the same league, which is Barrow. And since I don't have the opportunity to go to a Carlisle versus Gillingham match, as I'll be going to a different uni in a different city next year, I thought if I'm going to get any decent match day block, it's going to be this one. So I've got about two hours, well, just under two hours to get ready. I'm practically just going to wear what I'm wearing now, but just with more layers. Let's go. Okay, so I'm walking down to Brunton Park now. I know it's going to be poorly lit because obviously it is about half six in at the end of January. Just had a look at the table, the way it sits right now. If results go their way, if Carlisle win, then they go into the automatic promotion spots, which is going to be quite cool. But if results go their way, Barrow with a win can end in the playoff spots. It's going to be a very tasty match tonight. Both teams wanting to get into a promotion opportunity. Obviously, Carlo are comfortably in the playoffs and will more than definitely be in the playoff spots come the end of the season. But Barrow can get themselves into those spots with a win tonight. Carlo have won the last four in five. I didn't quite check Barrow's running form. And the only Carlo player that I actually know is Thomas Holy, who used to be the goalkeeper at Gillingham. And all I can say about him is that he is a fucking tall goalkeeper. So if I was going to give my predictions for tonight's match, you know what, I'm gonna give a confident Carlisle to Barrow nil. I haven't seen a home side score a goal in so long. The last two matches I went to, obviously I went to the Southampton nil Chelsea six match, which is obviously on the channel. And then the match before that was when I watched Gillingham get battered four nil by Ipswich Town. And the less said about Gillingham's league season at the moment, the better. So I'm about five minutes away from the ground. I'll see you guys inside.